I've worked uh, in the insurance industry for the last 24 years uh, at APA Life. I've been here for four years. I joined uh, on 1st of February in 2019. Before APA, I had uh, two years uh, working with the Kenyan Alliance Insurance Company. And before then, I worked for Jubilee Insurance Company for 16 years. I wanted to be a pharmacist. Yeah, I trained as a teacher, but I ended up as an insurance professional. A leadership is more or less associated with men. Very true. Yes, so you find that there is that perception and attitude when you take up leadership as, as a lady. So uh, that was another uh, big challenge that I had to deal with. And of course, being a lady also, you have to deal with the internal issues. You have to convince yourself that actually I'm up for it. And when you look at the field, you can see very few ladies at that position. So getting a mentor, challenging yourself, believing in yourself that you can actually do it in this field where there are very few ladies. It's more of men uh, positions. So that was quite a challenge. And also at the same time as I was growing in my career, I was also bringing up a uh, family. Okay. And I was also developing my profession. So I was standing because I come from a different profession so I had to stand and grow my knowledge and skills on insurance. So I had to juggle between the three responsibilities, which was quite a challenge, yeah. Uh, for me, the desire to excel, yeah, uh, kept me motivated. Um, also, uh, looking at my background, I came from uh, a family or a societal position where uh, there's no woman in, around my family who had uh, developed beyond housewife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I really wanted to make a difference and also become a role model and a motivation to my siblings and also to the other uh, family members who are behind me. So that desire to excel, uh, I know it was within me and I uh, also wanted to do the very best in whatever I do. I also believed that it is possible uh, because when I was in high school, I, I, I challenged myself to do well as, as a girl in sciences and mathematics. Yeah, I was, yes, I was doing poorly. Yeah, I was a D student in STEM, but I ended up by the end of Form 4 as a A student, which was a personal drive, yeah. And out of that, I kept believing nothing is impossible. Whether you are a lady or a man, you can still achieve it. Yeah. Wow, that's a very exciting one, yeah, um, yeah. because being the first uh, woman in the industry uh, to win the Think Business CEO of the Year Award, it was a Think Business CEO, CEO of the Year Award mm -hmm. uh, for the insurance industry 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, this uh, comes in as a vote of confidence mm -hmm. on my leadership. But also looking at it, I would say it's not only uh, my award, but it's also an award for APA Apollo Group yeah. because uh, they uh, gave me the challenge. So the award also goes to them. It goes to my team uh, at uh, APA uh, Life and also to all the women, yeah, to encourage them to take the challenge. Mm -hmm. For Think Business, uh, to give their want to, to a woman for 2020, a uh, also shows that they are also looking at uh, equality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's, it's a positive one. Okay. Mm -hmm.